you think, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. This is more than decipher those Muspelheim runes. It also contains the travel room. Should we go visit the fire room? So, Mimir, why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh... A spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mimir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. 
Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor, and seen as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why are you? travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. 
Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Ulfik. You were taken from this realm too early. <laughs> walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. in the middle of a story before. What were you saying about the long war? Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. You want to tell this one later. with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. This spirit lies to you, boy. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. This one is different. I know it. You know very little. Ah, Athnia. I always wonder what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was, and now he's a dragon. Oh, funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. <laughs>
yourself, boy! Get up, brother! 